Hello all, my name is Hallie Dara and I'm a PGY1 plastic surgery resident at Stanford. It's my distinct pleasure to present our findings in conjunction with my PI, Dr. Nyung Wen of the Division of Plastic Surgery. Our presentation is entitled, Botox Produces Diagnostic and Therapeutic Benefit for Breast Reconstruction Pain and Animation Deformity. Presently, breast reconstruction is most commonly performed using prepectoral implant-based recon. However, patients ineligible for this will often undergo subpectoral implant pacement, whereby the implant is covered with either the pectoralis major or the latissimus dorsi muscle. While this provides sufficient tissue coverage, it comes with its own risks, including risk of pain, muscular contracture, and animation deformity. One possible solution to these issues is the injection of Botox into the pectoralis muscle or the latissimus dorsi muscle. However, there is little literature describing the use or outcomes of Botox in treating submuscular implant complications. A retrospective chart review of breast reconstruction patients for a single surgeon at Stanford was performed. Patients who underwent Botox injection for muscular pain, spasm, or animation deformity were identified and outcomes were reviewed. They were also stratified based on radiation treatment and the type of muscle flap used for implant coverage. 11 patients for a total of 19 breasts were identified. The average age was 51 years. All patients had submuscular pectoralis pocket and or pedicled latissimus dorsi muscle coverage of the implant. All patients presented with muscular pain except for one who had significant animation deformity alone. The average amount of time from the patient's last surgery to Botox injection was 11.2 months. 25 to 100 units of Botox were used per injection with an average of 60 units. Following Botox injection, most patients reported symptomatic improvement within three to four weeks. Non-irradiated patients had significantly lower post-injection capsular contracture scores and significantly lower amounts of Botox were injected. However, there were no other significant differences in outcomes between irradiated and non-irradiated patients. When stratifying by type of muscle coverage, we found that patients who had both pectoralis major muscle and concurrent latissimus dorsi implant coverage were significantly less likely to have improvement in pain and tightness when compared to patients who had either isolated pectoral or isolated latissimus dorsi coverage. Notwithstanding, most patients reported significant improvement in their capsular contracture scores in post-injection pain and improvement and pain and tightness of the upper extremity. The duration of symptomatic relief produced following Botox injection ranged on average between 10 and 11 weeks. In conclusion, implant-based reconstruction using the pec major and or latissimus dorsi muscles can be plagued with muscular pain, spasm, and animation deformities. The use of Botox is a diagnostic and therapeutic modality for these post-breast reconstruction patients with the majority of patients having resolution of symptoms without the need for additional surgery. The limitations associated with this study are its small sample size, retrospective nature, and variable length of follow-up. In addition, while the use of Botox has been reported in implant-based reconstruction, a specific methodology still needs to be established. Future research directions include uh, determining the number of units required for sufficient resolution of symptoms and the specific locations of Botox injections into the overlying muscle.